Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is we're finding surface area, taking a look at a net that happens to be on a grid, which is pretty nice because things are pretty easy to count when you're on a grid. So we have some grid paper and we have a net here, and it looks like this guy will create a rectangular prism when folded up into a solid. And we also find out that every square is a one by one foot square, which is cool. So with that when we're counting all, our, all of our squares, we just realize that everything is just a value of one, uh, which is nice. So what I want to do here, surface area, when I'm talking about surface area, I'm talking about how much space all of these guys, all of these rectangles in this case, take up together. So I'm looking, I want to ultimately be looking for a total. So the first thing I have to do is find the area of each of these, uh, each of these rectangles, and then uh, count them up and add them up and find a sum. So I'm just going to look for dimensions. So, so I have a 1, by 2, 3, 4 by a 2. So I have a 4 by 2 rectangle here. And I have a 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over here. Okay. I have a 2 by 7 here. And now I know I have some duplicates. Here's a 4 by 7. This guy is the same as this guy. So he's a 4 by 2. And it's a prism, so I know the opposite guys are going to be uh, congruent. And a 2 by 7 over here, and I'm ready to go. Now, what I want to do is write an entire expression to show the surface area. So I'm going to use SA for my surface area. And I'm just going to show all of these products that I need to add together. Now, a couple of ways I can do this, I can actually list all of these guys out. I can say, all right, it's a 4, by, four times 2 plus a 4 times 7 plus, and I can keep going with that, but then I realize I actually have a couple of duplicates. I have two of these guys, uh, the 4 by 2s, and I have two 4 by 7s, and I have uh, two 2 by 7s. So what I'm going to do is use a little more math knowledge, and I'm going to use a little uh, know-how and say, okay, so I have two sets of 4 by 2. See how I did that? So two sets of that. Now I'm actually going to just kind of bracket those together. Okay. And I have two sets of 4 by 7s. So 2 times 4 by 7. Okay. I'm going to bracket those nicely together. And I have another set or two, uh, another set of 2 by, what did I miss? 2 times 7. There they are. So uh, 2 by 7. And I have two sets of those. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. And that works out pretty well. So the only thing I have to do, simplifies things a little bit, is multiply. So 2 times 4 gives me 8. And then 8 times 2 gives me 16. So I'll add that to 4 times 7, which gives me 28. And then 28 times 2. Let's see, so 28 times 2. If you need to do a little work on the side, that's fine. That gives you 56. And then over here, my 2 times 7 gives me 14. Uh, 2 14s gives me 28. Okay? So there's my addition problem. I'll cruise off on the side over here and add things up. So let's see. A 6 and a 6 gives me 12, plus an 8 gives me 20. And then I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100. Ooh, that works nicely. So there it is. Now 100. Now our unit is feet. And this, since this is area, I'm going to make sure to put a 2 for squares because we're counting squares, and that's area, how many squares fit in a space. So there's my surface area. Okay. And let's see. The only other one I want to take a look at right now is a triangle shape, which is kind of cool. So the triangles, um, remember, you need to remember the area. So this guy's not so bad. So 1, 2 by a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a 2 by 5. There's only one of them, and I have a couple of triangles. Now, the triangles, they need to remember the height, okay? Don't forget the height and the height because I need to do base times height or one-half base times height. Remember the area for that triangle is one-half the base times the height, and we did a lot of those, and we have two different triangles here. So my base on this guy, one, two, three, four, five, I have a base of five for this. And I have a height, I have to count from the bottom to the top, right? To count from the bottom to the top is one, two, three, four. Okay? Now for this guy, my base is 
right here, and that's a two, and my height, and that's me going this way, right, from the bottom of this guy to the top of this guy, is one, two, three, four, so my height of four, all right? So my surface area, I need to add all these guys together. Let me do the rectangle first. Okay, so I have a two times five. Okay, plus, now I need to do the uh, triangle. So let's do this triangle here first. So this triangle, and there are two of them, remember, one, two. So what we have here is one half, right, the base times the height, which is a five and a four. So one half, five times four, okay. But I do have two of them. I'm going to put a big two right there. And I can put a big bracket around that just to show that that's that entire, or both of those triangles put together. And then this guy, same type of thing, except I'm going to use these dimensions. So two times, I'm going to do a big bracket. Two times, one half, the base and the height. So two times a four, and we can close that out. Okay, so the only thing I have to do is multiply. So SA or this or the surface area is going to equal, let's do this guy first, 10 plus, and we can take care of all these guys. So 5 times 4 gives me 20. Half of 20 is 10, and then I'm going to multiply that by 2. You can see that these guys kind of uh, kind of cancel one another out. So if I'm taking 20 and dividing it in half, I get 10, and then I multiply that by 2, I get 20 again. So that becomes 20. And the same thing over here. These guys kind of cancel each other out, but that's fine. 2 times 4 gives me 8, half of 8 is 4, and then times that by 2, you get 8 again. And so we have 8. And the only thing I have to do now is add it all up. So my 20 plus my 10 gives me 30, plus my 8 gives me 38. So that's 38, and the unit is still feet, and since it's area, it's squared. Okay? So that's the deal, folks. All right? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.